There are two main types of fractures. There's compression and burst fractures. So what is the difference between both of these? So first, let me be super nerdy and scientific about Let's it. Let's do it. So <laughs> uh, burst fractures are different than compression fractures in that the back wall of the vertebra is broken in burst fractures. Okay. So that's as technical as we need to get. The reality is that compression fracture is simply like an accordion where it just kind of crunches down, it loses height. Burst fracture is where the whole bone essentially widens and burst fractures are the ones that are potentially unstable, mm -hmm. meaning that they may result in neurological compromise. They may result in worsening deformity. Right. Versus compression fractures, sort of it happens, and for the majority of patients, within a couple of months, that's the end of it. So I'm assuming then that compression fractures are something that you see more of? Absolutely. Okay. Definitely. All right. Now, do compression factors happen anywhere in the spine or certain areas of the spine are more likely to have compression fractures? So it's unusual for there to be a compression fracture in the neck. Um, that being said, the thoracic spine, which is your mid-back, mm -hmm. and the uh, lumbar spine, which is your lower back, that's where we typically see compression fractures. Okay. The scary fractures, burst fractures being a part of those. They can happen anywhere.